leisurely watching a YouTube video on a computer that is more advanced than anything human beings could create just a few decades ago. A few costly and rare substances with names like terbium, neodymium, and tantalum serve as the foundation for this advancement and all the marvelous machines that you take for granted. It is terrible to transport these precious elements from the Earth to your technology. The mining sector is to blame for landscape devastation, contamination of the air and water, and other problems. Resources are extracted using hazardous chemicals like cyanide, sulfuric acid, or chlorine, affecting local biodiversity as well as employees and residents. Furthermore, when nations restrict access to them to get their way, scarce resources become political weapons. But what if we could replace the mining sector with a safe, non-harmful alternative? That's correct. All we must do is gaze up. Asteroid mining. Rocks, metals, and ice weighing millions of billions of tons make up asteroids. Leftovers from the cloud that 4.5 billion years ago gave rise to the planet. They can range in size from a meter to proton planets the size of whole nations. While hundreds of millions roam free between the planets, most are clustered in the Kuiper and asteroid belts. Scientists and economists have started looking at the riches contained in these asteroids as space travel becomes more feasible. Platinum and other industrial and precious metals with a value in the trillions may be found in even relatively minor metallic asteroids. Additionally, larger asteroids like 16 Psyche may have enough nickel and iron to supply the world's metal requirements for millions of years. The rare raw materials alone would be worth quadrillions of dollars at today's market pricing. Not at all. However, technically, for instance, the water of the ocean contains more than 20 million tons of gold, which is equivalent to over 750 trillion US dollars. However, it would be so expensive to filter out the gold that you would lose money on the sale of it. Currently, asteroid mining faces precisely this issue. Mining on Earth cannot be replaced because of the cost. Resources in space worth billions of dollars are meaningless if they cost trillions to obtain. Why is it so challenging? Mining an asteroid operates on straightforward principles. The main concept is to pick an asteroid, relocate it to a location where it can be processed easily, and then disassemble it to create valuable products. All of this, sadly, runs into fundamental issues that we as a species have not yet resolved. It costs money to travel to space. Each kilogram of rocket fuel costs thousands of dollars, only to get to a low Earth orbit. Experiencing deep space farther away costs thousands more. For asteroid mining to be feasible, space travel must become more affordable. Switching to electric spaceships from traditional rockets is one solution. For many of the space probes used in science missions, electrical rocket engines are already in operation. In theory, all we need to do is to construct bigger ones. Although electrical engines are not strong enough to fly into space, once there, they may travel extremely far with relatively little fuel. This implies that we won't have to shell out on a lot of cash on fuel just to get it into space. Asteroid processing Although it doesn't completely fix the cost issue, doing so makes it simpler to launch our first mission. We need to locate the ideal asteroid and transport it there now we have an electric asteroid mining vehicle. With the help of space probes, we have already successfully visited asteroids and even gathered samples. However, to make things simpler and less expensive, near-Earth asteroids will likely be our first targets. Asteroids orbit reasonably close to Earth. Finally, after several months of travel, our spaceship reaches an asteroid. It is oddly shaped and covered in minor impact craters, but it hasn't changed much over the course of many billions of years. Securing the asteroid and putting a stop to its rotation must come first. 
There are various methods for doing this, such as using a laser to vaporize the material or thrusters to stop the spin. We must wait till we have a stable asteroid. Despite the complexity of orbital mechanics, if you push anything in the proper direction at the right time, you can move extremely large objects with very little force. We, therefore, watch for the ideal time. The asteroid is prodded into a trajectory that brings it close to our moon after our ship ignites its thrusters. To put the asteroid in a stable orbit around Earth and so conserve even more fuel, we can exploit the moon's gravitational pull. Once more, the journey takes months. However, the time spent was not in vain. The initial mining and processing machinery for asteroids has been placed in orbit and is currently making its way slowly towards it. Compared to Earth, the CPU operates extremely differently. To boil the gases out of the asteroid rock, enormous mirrors concentrate sunlight and heat it. The dry rocks are crushed into gravel and dust by grinders, and centrifuges separate heavy from light components. The number of precious metals we can take, even if it is only 0.01% of the asteroid's mass, is still far greater than what you could obtain from the same number of ore on Earth. But now what? How can we return our precious metals to Earth in a secure manner? There are other methods such as loading it aboard reusable rockets that travel to space and return to Earth. A quicker and less expensive delivery method can also be produced if our processor has 3D printers. Gas bubbles inside heat-insulated capsules. These can simply be dumped into the sea where they will be towed away by ships. The most real attempts taken by humanity towards colonizing the solar system may have their origin here. Our missions become more complex as our infrastructure and experience expand. There is no need to launch anything from Earth at all for components and fuel made on asteroids. The initial mining operation facilitates the subsequent ones and so forth. We might someday quit mining on Earth as the space industry develops and rare resources become more affordable. Even the concept of hazardous mining here could become strange and out of date, like having an open fire in your living room. Pollution-damaged landscapes will recover, and the technological marvels we are accustomed to are becoming less expensive and harmful to produce. This is not science fiction in any way. We don't require novel physics or fancy materials to enable asteroid mining. We could begin constructing this future right now. Just a little shove will do. What's your take on this? Do you think mining asteroids is a good idea? Let me know down in the comments below and check out one of these other videos. This has been Mr. Singularity, and I'll see you on the next one.